Uh, before we start, uh, we'd like to give an acknowledgement to country. So our conference today is being held on the lands of the Wurundjeri people, and I wish to acknowledge them as traditional owners. I'd also like to pay my respects to their elders, past and present, and Aboriginal elders of any other communities who may be present here today. Oops. Sorry, the transition is not quite going. There we go, oops, there we go. Um, sorry about that. Okay, so my name is Daniel Crook, and I'm here to give you a warm welcome to Cube Day Australia. I'm part of the CNCF staff, and I focus on maintainer satisfaction for the growing community of now over 200 projects at the CNCF. Um, and that includes Kubernetes as well as dozens of other projects in the cloud native space. Uh, this is my fourth trip to Melbourne. Uh, my first trip was in 2015, just when Kubernetes was, was coming. We were competing with Mesos. We weren't quite sure what was going to be the right platform. So I was working with a video gaming studio in my role at IBM. Um, in St. Kilda, to containerized their LAMP stack, Nginx, PHP FPM, Memcache, Redis, MySQL. And this was before we had a container orchestration platform, so we created something completely bespoke uh, with CoreOS, Fleet, and etcd, if, if you remember those, and uh, using those to deploy those pat platforms directly on bare metal, so kind of skipping through a virtual machine level. So um, I'm really excited to, see, excited to see how far the cloud native community has grown here, and in particular, um, you know, worldwide, how we've gone from those days of doing things by hand to having great tools to help us build applications. And I'm very excited to see how many of you are in attendance today. Uh, we've got over 200. And cube days like this are important uh, to reach communities that aren't, uh, uh, where we don't have a big flagship uh, multi-day KubeCon event. Um, we do have those in North America, in Europe, and now in India and uh, Japan. Uh, so hopefully uh, you can attend one of those as well if this is your first event. So I look forward to speaking with many of you today, um, before and after the event. Uh, reach out to me, connect with me. I'd love to meet you. So before we get into the program, uh, let me talk a little bit about the CNCF itself, the growth, and how the community here has had an impact on that. Um, how many folks use Kubernetes today in production? OK, all right, so about 2 thirds of the people. That's great. And any of you uh, are maintainers on any of the CNCF projects? OK. Less, some more of an end user community. That's great. Um, and for those who don't know, uh, the CNCF convenes critical open source projects and it supports a community of developers and vendors to advance them. In a nutshell, the CNCF is a sub foundation, Cloud Native Computing uh, Foundation, is a sub foundation of the Linux Foundation. And our mission uh, is to make cloud native computing universal. That is, we want to ensure that the best practices for modern software application and are adopted and strengthened worldwide. The story of cloud native has its roots nearly 20 years ago of computing starting from bare metal, um, hardware, main, mainframes through to virtual machines and onto containers and container orchestration. Along the way, since, CNC, uh, since 2015, uh, the CNCF and Kubernetes have become the default ecosystem for containers, but now also new workloads like Wasm, serverless, AI training, as well as inference. So it's the default platform now for those type of applications. And why might you start using CNCF projects within your organization? Uh, there are many reasons, efficiency, resiliency, multi-cloud, um, and better developer velocity. So all of these characteristics have come together to make Kubernetes and those other hundreds of CNCF projects the de facto platform for cloud application development. The community in Australia and New Zealand has been an integral part of that growth. And starting with Kubernetes in 2015 and rapidly since, we, we do have over 200 projects. Uh, it just passed that threshold recently. We've added 20 more this year. And there are over 240,000 contributors to those projects worldwide, uh, many of the folks in this audience uh, today as well. So together with contributors, we also recognize a community of local CNCF ambassadors here in ANZ, uh, ANZ. I was happy to get to meet some of them at the dinner last night. Um, and if you're here, please stand up. Okay, 
posters. I know we've got, yes, there we go, great. So if this is your first foray into cloud native, these are the right people to talk about your first steps uh, beyond myself, of course. Um, so the CNCF has a bunch of programs for building your cloud native skills. You can leverage those projects, contribute to them. Uh, you can also participate in a mentorship program as a mentee uh, with a funded stipend. And you can build your eminence through that ambassador program. So if you're building your skills and you want to improve your impact and make your, your employability greater than it is today, I, I encourage you to check out um, those programs. So certification, mentorship, and ambassadorship. Um, and we have a new program actually here on the certification level uh, called the Cube Astronaut. Um, Yong Kang is here, but I know uh, we've got a bunch of uh, 16 in Australia, nine right here in El Melbourne. Anybody a Cube Astronaut in the audience? All right, we got a few. Okay, great. So these are the folks who've achieved all five Kubernetes and cloud native certifications, starting from the entry level through to the really complex ones, uh, the deeply skilled ones in security and administration. And those who complete all five certifications get a really cool jacket. I know Young Kung is wearing one. Uh, there he is, he's in the back there. So that's a, that's a nice little uh, perk of, of getting all five of those certifications. Um, beyond this Cube Day, I mentioned KubeCon, so we, we encourage you to check out those other events. There's also smaller events, and there's meetup groups all around the region uh, that you can check out if you're not able to, to join us, for example, in London next year, or in India in December, or in Salt Lake City next week, next month, I'm sorry, sorry. yes, next month. Okay, uh, and if you're a developer or wanna make your first contribution, we have a whole bunch of resources there. Contribute.cncf.io is the, the best place to start. Uh, you can join our community in the CNCF Slack. And we have a bunch of programs for finding new issues to contribute to uh, or otherwise making your first foray into open source. So with that, uh, thank you. I hope you have a great event. And um, let's get on with the program. <laughs>